Do you remember NASA's ill-fated Viper lunar rover? The Volatiles investigating polar exploration rover had several jobs on the moon, but its main one was to prospect for water ice and other volatiles in the deeply and permanently shadowed craters of the moon's south pole. It was supposed to cost $200 million and launch in 2023 on an astrobotic lunar lander. By 2024, the total costs had spiraled to $800 million and Viper was still not on the moon. Despite the fact that the rover had already undergone vibration testing and was just about ready to fly, NASA finally pulled the plug on the mission in July of 2024 and had planned to disassemble it and reuse the instruments and parts for other missions. Hopefully that process hasn't started yet because last week NASA announced that Viper may now fly to the moon with Blue Origin's Blue Moon Mark I lunar lander. Development of the Blue Origin lander started in 2016, although it has yet to fly. Its purpose is to deliver and support up to 3,000 kilograms of cargo on the surface of the moon. A Pathfinder mission to demonstrate the Mark I lander is scheduled for later in 2025, and it will deliver two NASA payloads to the moon's south pole. Blue Origin also plans a Mark II lander that will be capable of delivering humans to the lunar surface. The whole Blue Origin moon lander thing is kind of a video on its own, but the basics here are that NASA has awarded a task order to Blue Origin to show how it would deliver Viper to the moon's south pole. If that proposal is acceptable, there's an option in the award to actually deliver the lander to the moon in 2027 with $190 million on the table for the whole contract. Viper will have to be tough to survive in the harsh lunar environment as it will undergo 260 Celsius temperature swings from the sunlit parts of the moon into the deep shadows of the craters, and its 100-day mission over 12 lunar day-night cycles will put plenty of, <laughs> plenty of strain on its power supply and other systems. Given that the lander was more or less ready to fly, it's nice to see it given a chance to complete its mission under the Commercial Lunar Services payload program. Hopefully that'll cap the remaining costs to get it on the moon while making use of all the resources already sunk into the project. Keep an eye out for Blue Origin's Pathfinder mission for Blue Moon Mark I later this year because how that performs will probably have a big impact on if and when Viper gets to the moon. That's today's video. Don't forget to drop a like and I will catch you in the next one.